Well, my name's Tom Dongo. I've been a uh, UFO researcher. I've uh, been at this about 40 years, and my specialty is uh, uh, human extraterrestrials. And I've been, uh, I've been on uh, worldwide radio, AM, FM, 77 times. I've talked to about 50 million people about every subject you can imagine. And uh, uh, it's been uh, quite, quite an quite a experience. And so uh, my specialty is UFOs. I'm, I'm no, well known as a UFO researcher, and particularly human extraterrestrials. Uh, and I have interviewed uh, 12 people that have had uh, human extraterrestrial experience, uh, contact. Uh, they've, they've actually interviewed them. And uh, they, the, the extraterrestrials have proved it, that they were not from this planet. They showed them something that uh, couldn't possibly have come from this planet. Be, got into this because when I first moved to Sedona, I, I really had no interest in anything paranormal or, or UFOs. And I started uh, running into uh, people that had UFO experience and alien experience right and left. And uh, so I start, that's what got me into it. And, and uh, eight books later, I'm, I'm still at it. And uh, uh, one, one of my books, Merging Dimensions, is a bestseller. And it's about the, uh, the, uh, uh, the activity at the Bradshaw Ranch in Sedona. Uh, the Bradshaw Ranch is, uh, to go into that a little bit deeper, is uh, uh, it's a, a, a ranch, and it's very similar to Skinwalker Ranch. The, uh, the very great similarity, except that on the Bradshaw Ranch, nothing uh, negative ever happened. But on the Skinwalker Ranch, it's, it seems to be all negative. And uh, I, uh, so uh, I've, I've been uh, on many TV specials uh, talking about the Bradshaw Ranch. And uh, uh, we've had film crews from every, everywhere you can think of. Uh, out there on the Bradshaw Ranch to film the activity, and uh, we so uh, I um, oh gosh. <laughs> anyway, that's been my specialty is the Bradshaw Ranch, and it's 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 ongoing. And uh, there's been many uh, very wealthy people want to get involved, but the Forest Service has a, a they own they now own the government owns the Bradshaw Ranch through the Forest Service. And they're, uh, they're, they really, the Forest Service is real reluctant to have anybody out there. Uh, uh, so they're not, uh, uh, they're, uh, the uh, University of Northern Arizona now has the ranch leased. And they're, they, want to, they want to bulldoze all the, the ranch houses. The ranch houses are in ruins now. And uh, so the, uh, they want to bulldoze all of the, the ranch houses and, uh, and build dormitories. In five years now, they haven't done anything. I think they've read my books and are afraid, afraid to, their, to, to build anything out there because of it, with uh, all these dormitories and students out there, uh, they, they're afraid something might happen that would destroy their, their projects. Oh, creatures and portals on the Bradshaw Ranch, you, you asked me. Now, I, I, uh, I have uh, a world-famous collection of photographs that were taken on the Bradshaw Ranch by myself and Linda Bradshaw. And Bob Bradshaw owned the ranch, uh, and Bob wouldn't have anything to do with it. He was a, uh, kind of an old redneck Arizona cowboy. He saw one UFO land in the, in the apple orchard behind his, in, the, in front of the house. That was enough for him. He didn't want to see any more. He, he would, uh, we couldn't get him to come out. He'd watch TV and, and Linda would go in and say, Bob, Bob, you've got to come out and see this. And, uh, and he wouldn't, he'd stay, he'd stay and he'd watch TV. So, <laughs> um, but my, uh, gosh, I wish I had something to show here, but my, the photographs of the, that I've taken on the Bradshaw Ranch are world famous. In fact, a, a special is being done right now that I can't talk about because I'm under an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, not to talk about it. Uh, it's going to be a, ma a major TV show coming up in probably about July. And uh, I'm the main focus, and they've, they're using my photographs, and they, they've, I'm, I'm under a non-disclosure agreement not to use my own photographs until they come out with the, the new show. 
so I don't have any anyway. But but it's uh, I have I have world famous photographs, proven photographs, of of uh, of uh, very strange creatures on the Bradshaw Ranch. And they've been they've been examined by experts, and they say these aren't fake. They're not CGI. They're not they're not fake photographs in any way. So those are the ones that are being used now. In in my books, I've I've written eight uh, eight books. And uh, merging in my book, Merging D Dimensions, all of those photographs are in Merging Dimensions, my book. So it. Uh, uh, so if anybody wants, to, anybody wants to see these photographs by Merging Dimensions, they're all there, and they've all been proven they're not fake. I won't have anything to do with the Stardust Ranch. I I, I was asked to come down there. And I'm not saying it's fake, but the Stardust Ranch is too dangerous as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the, the activity of, uh, of the owner killing an alien probably is true with, with, a, with a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a butcher knife, yeah. Uh, and uh, so, so I, I've, I've been asked to go to the, the, uh, skin, uh, the Stardust Ranch. <clears throat> and I've refused. I didn't have anything to do with it. But I know everything about the Skinwalker Ranch and the Bradshaw Ranch. And the comparison between Skinwalker and Bradshaw is that uh, Skinwalker Ranch has been a, a great deal of uh, 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 bad, ex bad experiences. And, and the, the Bradshaw Ranch was always benevolent. The, the Skinwalker is, is, uh, is a... a malevolent as far as I'm concerned. That's the big difference. So it's been my, my privilege to, you know, to experience all this stuff firsthand with photographs and, and, and uh, every, almost everything I've photographed has been uh, witnessed by up, up to 16 people. So if somebody says prove it, I can prove it with witnesses. And many of these witnesses have said uh, in the future if you need a witness, I'm available, and they, they've given me their names. What's going on in the Skinwalker Ranch? Uh, yeah, I've talked about that a lot, and I know most of those people, and I know the owner, uh, Brandon uh, Fugel, is a very nice man. Uh, he's one of the nicest people I think I've ever met. But the uh, the uh, what they're doing on the Skinwalker Ranch, in my opinion, is that they're never going to solve it with with uh, uh, technical equipment. It's, it's going to be psychics and remote viewers that's going to solve it. Because I've, 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 I, I am a well-known uh, rem remote viewer. I was born with a phenomenal remote viewing ability. And I've, I've seen some of the things that exist on the Skinwalker Ranch. And I was face-to-face -face with one of the creatures that was uh, on the Bradshaw, the uh, Skinwalker Ranch in uh, <clears throat> They're not nice. These these things are. It's their property, and, and they they're they're irritated that these researchers are uh, on their turf. So, so I'll go back to again that uh, I really don't think they're going to uh, solve the mystery with technological experience uh, uh, devices. And uh, you know, the uh, Sedona is why it is because. Probably the magnetic energy here. This mag there is strong magnetic energy in the red rocks. The red rocks you see are iron oxide. That's the, that's rust. The red you see is rust. It's it's iron. So somehow, as far as I've been able to, I'm I've been studying this for for thirty years, and it's the uh, the magnetism I think that's drawing the the UFOs. I've been on hundreds of interviews, and I always get asked that: what it is, what is it about Sedona? So the UFO back in the late '80s and early '90s here, the UFO activity was every night. You could go out. I've said this many, many times. You could go out any night and see something that would change your life. In the late '80s and early '90s, literally every night, you, something so shocking, so stunning, it would change your life. And uh, so you know. And there are there are bases here, and there's one base. There are about I don't like to call them bases. I, I like I call them underground installations. I really don't like to call them bases, but I know exactly where one is, and it's extremely dangerous. In fact, the guy that took me there that showed me this base, 
uh, he, he got a call one day, and, and he was told, you come back here again, and we will kill you. That's his hope. You come back here again, and we will kill you. So, and I know exactly where it is, and I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it in public. I started writing a book on uh, the, me the metaphysical stuff, basically, and, and uh, it was never meant to be a book, but it was... It was, uh, it was, uh, a woman was starting a publishing business, so she took my, my, uh, it was a, a, a very short story, only meant to be published in a, in a, in a, a weekly paper, and she took it and made it into a book, and it sold 70,000 copies now. It's still in print, 35 years later. Uh, so it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a strange place to know. It's, it's the only place in the world it is like it is. There's nowhere else in the world that's just like this. I've studied all of them, and I've worked with all many researchers. And Sedona is a very strange place. There's a strangeness, strangeness here that doesn't exist anywhere else. And you ask me, what is it? I don't know. Uh, and and I've, I've been studying it for all these years, and I still don't know. I've been considered a world expert by, by a number of people. And I, I work with, uh, I was born with this ability. And it's a phenom I have a phenomenal remote viewing ability equal to Ingo Swan and Russell Targ, the people that basically, I, I work with some of the original government remote viewers, and I, 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 my ability is way above theirs, way above it. And these are government-trained remote viewers. And so I, I, uh, I, uh, I was born with it, and I use it almost constantly. So I have a vision different from other people. When I see something, I see it different than many, many other people. It's, it's something I'm very, I'm very, is it, a, is it a, is it a curse or is it a blessing? I still don't know. It's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a phenomenal thing. And I uh, teach it with uh, Maureen St. Germain. She's a world famous writer, book, 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 rubber, book publisher. She's, uh, she has books published. So at any rate, uh, Maureen and I teach it and uh, she uh, calls it the, Calls, calls my technique the Tom Dongo technique, and uh, the, she, she she teaches the government remote viewing technique with uh, coordinates, and and uh, so we we combine the two, my technique and her technique, which is the government technique, and it's very successful, but it's also very very uh, we've we've had uh, two full classes, two month classes in. Uh, so everybody asks me, I'm constantly ask, asked to teach remote viewing, and it's extremely uh, uh, energy uh, draining. And so I don't know if I'm going to do any more or not, but it's a, it's a phenomenal. Any, anybody that is interested in remote viewing, do it, because it, it's, a, it's an incredible experience. I can go back in time, uh, anywhere in time, and be there and see it like uh, to the time of Jesus. I've done it, I've, and I can I can actually see everything that's going on around Jesus. It's not hard for a remote viewer, but going into the future, I talked about it yesterday in my my uh, presentation. Going into the future is v very difficult, uh, it, because it's constantly changing. Uh, and uh, uh, one of the uh, remote viewers said that. Uh, and when a remote viewer, a good remote viewer, I'm talking about a good remote viewer, goes into the future, it changes the future. So, so every time a remote viewer goes into the future, it's slightly different. It's, it's never the same. So, uh, you know, the, 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 I, I've tried to look into the future, and I can't. Uh, it's not with, not with any success, but I can go into the past anywhere. I can go to a Saxon village uh, eight, uh, 800 or 1,000 years ago and, and describe everything. But to go into the future, I think the, I think the future is in constant flux. I don't think it's set in any way. Is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? I don't know. Uh, but uh, the the way the current attitude is in the, in with the in the this world, if it does the attitude do, doesn't change, I, I don't think the out, the outlook is is good. Honestly, I have to, I have to say that because the negativity is so bad on the planet. If it isn't changed soon by thinkers, think creative thinkers, if creative creative thinkers don't take charge and uh, I, I don't see the outlook as the future very good at the moment. I really don't. I hope it changes. I can do it even while talking to you. I can remote view somewhere.
Uh, it's uh, in fact, I do it often. I, I've 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 been uh, I've been uh, and I found out the government was doing the same. I've, many times I thought I was going insane, but I, then I found out the government was doing the same thing I was doing. They're uh, uh, they they were they were going visiting alien spacecraft out in space. There there are thousands of them out there in, in orbit around the Earth, and I found the government. Uh, uh, Joe McMonigle was who at the time was a top government remote viewer, and I was standing together, and he was talking about the uh, uh, going on to alien spacecraft and and uh, and visiting them. And, and, uh, so I, I thought, you know, I heard that and I said, well, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm, a, I'm actually doing that. And I can, I can do it while talking to you. I can actually do it now and go out and look for an alien spacecraft. And if it's friendly, I can go on to it. I can go, but if it's not, and, and, uh, Joe McMonagall made the mistake of going on, to, he was, he was threatened to stay away from him, uh, an alien spacecraft, but he went on it and they trapped him. In a, in a, this is this is for for real. They trapped him in a in a in a kind of a glass glass like cage, and he, they wouldn't let him out. This is Joe McMonagall, one of the top government remote viewers, and uh, so so I I thought I kind of found that humorous because because uh, it, he for somebody like him to make a mistake. Egyptian artifacts in the Grand Canyon. No, it's absolutely true. I've I've known researchers. I've talked to researchers that have been there, and there is Egyptian artifacts in the Grand Canyon in, in a, uh, a, 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 an under, uh, a, a, a subway system in, in the Grand Canyon. So I, I know, I've, I've talked to the researchers that, uh, uh, that have, have been researching it for a long time, and it's a fact. They're, and can I re, re, uh, remote view it? Yes, I can. But some things, every people ask me, did you remote view this? Did you remote view that? And I said, no, I don't have the time. It's a very time-consuming thing. And if I'm going to do it in depth, I have to focus. It takes an extreme amount of energy to focus. So I, I haven't, but that's, that's a fact. It's uh, 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 Sipapu, they call it. The Indians call it Sipapu in the, can, in the Grand Canyon. I don't want anybody to contact me because I, I get on the average of 100 uh, emails a day. So... I, I really I get asked all the time how can people contact you? Well, they can't because I'm not a, I'm really not available. But my books are all available on Amazon. All of my books, all eight books, are available on Amazon. And uh, uh, e, e, actually, the best way to go about my books is, is, is uh, buy them on uh, uh, e, e books, and it's they're only I think it's three dollars. But that's it. That's a uh, I, I'm really not a very public, I, I don't have the time, a, a public person, a real public person. My, my future projects are retirement. I, I, I've said so many times, and uh, I, I said, I'm going to, I'm backing out of this because it's been so time, time consuming. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I've been asked, I, <laughs> I, I, was, <laughs> I was on the, uh, the, uh, Jimmy Church show, and I said, "I'm I'm back. I'm backing out of this. I've been in it too long. I'm getting. I'm, I'm 78 years old." And Jimmy Church says, "No, don't do that. Don't do that. You can't. You can't." So, <laughs> I, maybe maybe I'll stick with it because I've had standing ovations from uh, some of my 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 presentations. I've had 500 people show up to my sold out to some of my talks, and, and uh, so I, it's been my my talks are very popular. Please consider supporting Super Soldier Talk by purchasing your own Neo Meditation device. Your Neo Meditation device will help you reduce stress, integrate trauma, enhance intuition, enhance clairvoyance, and enhance creativity. Get yours now at www.neologicaltech.com.